Hey, good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to get a close-up on one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And that's water coming in from the atmosphere. Come on. There we go. Keep it up. <laughs> well, I couldn't wait to start making water um, because things are critical out here. And I kid you not, in the past uh, 35 minutes, I've had two uh, emergency fire units racing up and down this road that had a call in for fire and smoke. Uh, those trucks, I'm guessing, could only hold about 1,500 gallons a piece. They're like brush trucks where they can get back in on these roads back here. Uh, as dry as it is, <clears throat> and as dry as it is, um, you know, all bets are off out here. <laughs> it's dry. It's dry. And one day after I posted my last video on how dry it is out here, uh, it was all over the Hawaii news, just like I thought it should be. Um, so glad to hear that. But anyway, right here, got this Medea. This is a 50 pint dehumidifier. It's reading the outside temperature right now to uh, 60% humidity. I look on the island app out here, it shows the humidity a little higher. Uh, it wasn't producing a lot when it was really hot and dry earlier today because it was hot and dry. <clears throat> Draws a little more power than I thought. When I researched it, it said it was going to draw about uh, 450 watts, no, 425 I believe is what it said. Uh, this is what it's drawing right here, 590 watts. And interestingly enough, when I had it on the, the low fan setting, it drew about 10 watts more, it was closer to 600 watts. But anyway, I've got it on the high fan right now. Instead of catching it in this uh, bottom reservoir, which holds about four gallons, a little over four gallons, 4.2 I believe it said, um, I'm not interested in emptying this thing out. I'm going to start diverting it to different places. <clears throat> I've got right now, it's not super high humidity. Just got it sitting out on the steps doing some tests right now. This is a uh, half a gallon of water that I did not catch from the sky today and I've only been running this for a little while and there you can see it's <clears throat> coming in the humidity is supposed to be a lot higher tonight but no rain so yeah it comes with a separate pump unit I can hook up a, a pump up to this it came with a, a little uh, inline adapter I'll show you what that looks like real quick <clears throat> got things scattered about catching water getting serious about it so yeah it came with this that I would drop into this tank from underneath the unit and I will show you guys that at a different time but I'm not worried about that right now and then I can hook this line up to that and it'll pump 14 feet above the unit, wherever I place the unit. So I can, with this, which I probably will hook this up when I get my uh, separate storage tank for this set up, I'll go ahead and hook this up, run this to my tank, and it, and it can be above this up to 14 feet. So that's kind of cool. Uh, right now I just have it on a, a uh, what they call tankless mode instead of dripping straight down into this holding tank which holds that 4.2 gallons I'm just running it off as I'm playing around with it into this bottle and that's gold Jerry that's gold liquid gold coming right out of the sky that's gonna be a game-changer 
I'm going to have to dial it in and watch it carefully. Uh, like right now, the sun is down. Yeah, it's hitting the system pretty good. I've got it tied up to those Chins batteries in the back. So, and they got up to <clears throat> about 90% today, but yeah, this is sucking some power. But anyway, low humidity right now, gonna increase quite a bit tonight. And uh, I'll play around with it. I can see that I'm gonna have to dial it in. You know, when the humidity gets real high, uh, regardless, if, regardless if it's raining or not, that's the time to turn this baby on. Uh, right now, you know, I'm producing a huge stream of water. Just out here on the deck with my boots and socks and everything else. But mercy, that's a beautiful sight right there. Sucking water out of the driest air we have seen. In fact, last night's news said that Hilo Airport broke a record in October for the least amount of rain since 1962. And we only got half of what that low record was uh, last month. And we haven't caught anything this month. Very unusual conditions. Gonna make the adjustment. This is gonna, this is gonna help. And I'm not gonna be afraid to, with this water, yeah, baby. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. That's gold. I've got some filtration. I'm not gonna be afraid to drop that through some filtration that I've got out here. And if I have to, drink it. I'm not telling you guys that that's what you should do, but um, desperate times, desperate measures, and I'm not worried about that. I will even for, uh, purposes of showing you guys, I will test this in every method available, send it off for tests in various ways, and after my filtration, <clears throat> a little excited. <laughs> you can hear that fan is on high right now. It's not extremely loud sitting out here on the porch at all. And if I drop it down, show you let's see let's look at the 585 watts on high I'll drop it down to low it's a little quieter definitely a little quieter and let's see what that's doing not much difference but what I do notice right now because the water seems to trickle in a little well I'm learning as I go I'm gonna keep it on high the idea being uh, the harder this thing's running the more water it's gonna make <laughs> I will learn exactly how this baby works and finesse it <clears throat> because that's so exciting so exciting. Yeah. And the humidity is supposed to go up to about 90%. Tonight, I will be playing around with it. It has Bluetooth capability. I can adjust this thing and set this thing to come on or off at any time I want. I can be laying in bed and see, oh wow, the humidity is really super high right now let's suck some water out of the air so uh already this is a game changer the other thing they said in the news last night was that uh with the el nino effect out here uh, we're supposed to stay in an extreme drought at least uh, throughout our wet season which is not starting and they said this uh, dry spell might not peak till February. So um, <clears throat> I've got all the motivation I need. Pretty excited. I'll be showing you guys more of this, guaranteed. Wow. So that's the <coughs> Medea 50 pint dehumidifier running on solar, sucking some solar, that's for sure. 
The other thing that I will do is I will start to, already it's got my brain going, you know, on days when I'm full and just cranking excess sunshine on those solar panels, that's gonna be the time to fire that up to where I'm not really tapping the system because uh, I'm not gonna be running it overnight because there's no reason to do that. I can, I can adjust it and set it on the Bluetooth when to come on, when to come off, and, and do that from the comfort of my phone. And I just had to show you guys that. Yeah, that's a game changer. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited, as you guys can tell. And I just thought I'd shoot that from the hip because, wow, so dry, so dry. Yeah, and they were showing the forecast a couple of days ago for next week and it showed all kinds of rain and it's already changed to like no rain again. So, um, yeah, that water tank's getting way too low for me to be comfortable. So I'm thinking about at least making utility water and push comes to shove. I'll be drinking that stuff, but yeah, sign of the times. We need some rain, big time. But it's nice to know you can suck it out of the air but going to have to play with that humidity level a little bit. But I'm going to have a gallon more than I started with here in a minute. Aloha. And now the humidity's increased about 10%. And I'm watching it like a hawk and now a steady stream of water. And it's due to go up quite a, quite a bit more percentages this evening. Oh, I'm loving that. Instead of just kind of intermittent, steady stream. Yes. That's what we got, P. Steady stream of water. And that should get heavier in the next little bit. There you go. I'll fill up your water bowl fresh. <laughs> yeah, very nice.